Hi everyone, we're back. This is the week of hope. So I'm Janelle and this is my husband Byron and uh, we're starting on Monday. So we have Romans 15, 13 and this is in the NIV. I did want to say, I'm sorry, I distracted myself. I did want to say this song, Psalm 42. If you haven't been listening to the songs, it's totally fine. But this song you need to listen to. Psalm 42, Loudest Praise by Shane and Shane is so beautiful. I listen to it probably more than I should, but it's an amazing song. So if you haven't listened to the songs, do listen to that one. Okay, now I'm going to read the verse. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So I was looking through, I, you know, the Bible is apparently full of verses. <laughs> and I was looking through all the different verses about hope and I came on this one and I was like, how cool is it that it talks about may the God of hope, which is the week we're in, but then fill you with all joy and peace, which are the weeks we were in as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. And this one verse, and I feel like every word impacts you somehow, you know, when I was reading it, it's just so... Like, who doesn't want joy and peace? And then to be filled with hope. And we were talking about this just before we started filming. And, and we were like, you know, make the God of hope, right? So you're looking at God's character of who he is. Like, he is the God of hope. So you can have faith in him and have your hope in him. But then it ends with, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So it's like, you got this twofer <laughs> of the Holy Spirit filling you with hope, but then you also have the active idea of trusting in God because he is the God of hope. Right. And I just like the word overflow because mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I am filled with so much hope that it's now going to overflow and then like impact you or impact people around me where they can like see that hope because of my joy and my peace and the hope I have. And then, I mean, you're empowered by the Holy Spirit so you're able to maintain those things as you go out into the world and share that amazing fruit of the spirit. Like who wouldn't want a taste of peace, joy, and hope in their lives? Right. It's just such a powerful thing to just dwell on this powerful mm -hmm. show like verse. It's, a, it's really good. Well, and it makes me think too of um, there's, I think a lot of times we feel this need to be something right like we need to have hope or we need to have joy or we need to have peace and sometimes we want it but I think too we like feel like we're supposed to be at a certain place and with this one where it says that you know by the power of the Holy Spirit you'll overflow with hope there's so many points in the Bible where Jesus or one of the disciples you know as you're reading through and it talks about how you know there um there's a soldier who says like um I have faith, but what faith I don't have, like, give me, you know? And so it's, we don't have to come at life with everything we need. That's where we can rely on God to feed that and to give that to us. So there are places where you may yourself have a lot of faith in that time or be on a mountaintop experience where you're like, I just saw God come through with something and my hope is overflowing. But you can also be in those spaces where it's like, I really don't have hope right now. And I feel like I'm in despair, but I can ask the Holy Spirit to fill me with hope so much so that I'm overflowing with it. And I love what you said about how that affects other people because it does. It's like if you walk in and someone's in a good mood, even if you're in a bad mood, you may not walk in, like you may not leave that experience like joyful, mm -hmm. but I guarantee you're going to leave in a better mood. And if you're with someone who's just overflowing with hope, you're going to be welcomed into that space as well. Mm -hmm. That's well put, honey. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. So that is Monday on Hope, Romans 15, 13, and we'll see you tomorrow, guys.